how I can raise my kids. Now, when I took him to the doctor, they gave me papers. I really didn't know what they were saying. Okay, let's just break the word down again like we did, remember? I finally realized that I have a problem, and the more I tried to overcome the problem, the difficult it was for me, so I didn't uh, push back. I just kind of went with the flow, and I learned to adapt. does it have on someone when they're illiterate? It's obviously much harder for them to get a job, as we found out when we visited one of the worst performing states, Kentucky. And it would hinder me from filling out an application. It would hinder me from getting a job that I had to do paperwork. If a, uh, my employer told me to go locate this box that had uh, a certain writing on it, I would not know how to locate that box because I wouldn't know how to correlate the writing to the box. I would know that there was letters on the box, but I wouldn't know how to read the letters on the box. But it's not just about providing financially, but also about setting an example. I wanted to be a better mom for him. For it's a shape that means I love you. I wanted to be a better mom knowing how to read. If they come and ask me a question, hey, mommy, what's this word? I go, well, it's this. I never would come out and say it, that I had a problem. I always say, go to your dad, he'll tell you. Well, I kind of blow it off so they wouldn't know that I would have a problem. But now when he usually comes to me, I usually tell him what it is, if mommy knows. What stopped you from learning to read? My parents and the schools. They didn't want to help me get more learning. So they stuck me in special ed and they thought that was going to help, but it didn't. When compared to other developed countries around the world, the U.S. fares much worse than many of them. But why is that? Well, many like Peggy complain that the system fails those who need a little bit of extra help. And there is huge disparity in the resources at schools in rich and poor areas. Stephen Pruitt, Commissioner of Education for the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Stephen Pruitt admits there needs to be far more investment, particularly in schools in deprived areas. You won't see the bang for the buck immediately. And that's, I think, one of the hard things in politics is, you know, you've got people who are in office for short periods of time and they want to see something happen fast. Well, what we know in education is nothing happens fast because kids aren't widgets. You can't just flip the switch and make change. You deal with biases, whether implicit or explicit, and you've got to change a culture, and that takes years to do. Planes flew overhead and people danced. To this day in America, someone's economic background, which can often mean race, and learning difficulties still play such a massive part in whether they get so starkly left behind.